In this module, we will cover the communication involved with Harmony endpoints. This is the layout with local management. For daily usage, we have the endpoint client communicating with the endpoint server or a policy server in a large environment over HTTP and HTTPS. Managing the endpoint server will happen over SIC from Smart Endpoint Console or by using the web option. And then, of course, it uses HTTPS from any browser on any client. In case of a cloud deployment, the client will communicate with the server over HTTP and HTTPS. Notice that firewall rules will need to be modified to allow this traffic. The full list can be found in SK116590. Here's the SK, all the information, all the addresses, the ports, protocols, how to check it, it's all here in this SK. I highly recommend you have a look at it. The new connectivity test tool will help you verify connectivity to all Harmony endpoint services, mostly helpful when proxy firewalls are involved. It's included in all Harmony endpoint clients version E8510 and above. I'm in my Windows machine. I've opened CMD with admin privileges, and now I'm going to change my location to the C, Program Files, Checkpoint, Endpoint Security, Endpoint Common, Bin folder. And then I'm simply going to type checkconnectivity.exe and press Enter. This Windows PowerShell script is going to open, and it's going to start checking if all the connections working and prompt you with a nice status. That's it, test is done. And in my case, I see that the threat emulation cloud check have failed. So I'll need to address it. The test is over. I can press any key to exit. And now I'll have to go ahead to my firewall and make sure that I have this connection um, approved. By default, the client sends a heartbeat every 60 seconds to see if there are any changes or push operations. If it detects a change, it will send a synchronization request. Both the web interface and smart endpoint will use HTTPS to manage the server. Another cool component on the cloud is the use of threat hunting. The client will communicate with threat hunting server in intervals of between 5 and 10 minutes depending on the activity. Traffic will be encrypted and using HTTPS. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next module.